Hello, my dear friends. My name is Stanislav Shamayev. I'm a licensed business immigration and corporate attorney in Miami, Florida. Today, we're going to be discussing the topic, how can you get a green card if you deal with technology? At the end of this video, you will be able to learn how to get a free evaluation of your case. Let's go. Today's topic is very, very hot because for the past couple of years, we've been putting a lot of focus on professionals in technology. It could be IT people, cybersecurity people, artificial intelligence, uh, space technologies, agricultural technologies, blockchain, engineering, whatever that is, a civil engineer, mechanical engineer, power engineering, whatever, uh, the doctors, or uh, even business people who uh, develop some technology and want to bring it here in the US. And let me tell you guys, out of a hundred cases we filed for this particular narrow uh, uh, issue, we have 100% approval rate. Every client that we filed for where there was some kind of technology involved or you work on the technology or you develop the technology when you bring it here, you are planning to work on the technology, all of you got the approval. Of course, the past events are not indicative of the future results, but when you have such a perfect track record, it speaks volumes. And uh, definitely, I want to make sure that you guys understand that I know a thing or two about that. So now let's discuss which kind of programs fall within this category. And again, I'm going to talking about green cards specifically. But remember, O1 visa is a non-immigrant, but very good and effective visa for the purpose of coming to the US and start doing your business. But the visas I'm going to be focusing on our EB1A and EB2 national interest waiver. If we talk about EB1A, we need to prove at least three criteria out of the eight. And when we talk about technology, it's very easy because you have contribution in the field by means of your technology. You have usually good income based on that technology. You almost always work in the projects that have high reputation. So we off the bat with three criteria provided and we need three, but usually I want six. So on top of that, you will get the press writing about you. You'll have uh, scientific academic articles or expert opinion articles. You might be called as a judge to the competitions to assess the work of other professionals or you even can get awards at those competitions. If we get to five, six criteria at, at the end of your petition, this is really good, I like six, but sometimes we work with five. Actually, just last week we got approval for EB1A for our client from Russia, who is an IT specialist, and he invented the uh, software called Avatan, is a photo editor program okay that's all he has done all right just one program yes it was big at some point it's not as big right now but everything evolves around that so that's the technology software is technology and if you invented uh, some software some platform some uh, application a patent some invention maybe some technology uh, for the space for the ecology for the physics it does really matter as long as if it's being used and brings good to the uh, humanity, that's very good. So you can base all your case on that technology, on that achievement by itself, okay? It could be even a game, all right? We just got uh, approval for talent visa for a game dev. All he's done, a couple of good games that uh, people play. There you go, a game is a technology too, if you didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know, so I'm just, just, just sharing with you. EB2 NIW probably even a better version for technology people, technology professionals, IT engineers, doctors, everybody who's working in this sector and even business people who put the money invested in the technology and other people just did it for them. This is even better because if that technology has been used in your country or somewhere else, we're gonna claim that that technology is gonna be used here in the States. 
and a lot of technologies have the national interest of the states and we can make a really good case out of it. If you guys involved in this sector, you have the full green light here in the States. Also for another reason, because Biden-Harris administration openly say, if you guys in the technology sector, come on in, come on in. That's basically what they say. I'm, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to entertain you guys, but that's, that's the bottom line because we, Americans want you highly professional people here in the US and I could be your gatekeeper to get that thing done. You'd be like Stanislav, I have that technology, I have something, I invented something, maybe some even algorithm, maybe even open source. If you have the open source that everybody's using and it's not like a secret, that's fine. We can use that, we can build the entire case on that only. But if you want to know if you qualify or if you don't and you're like, eh, I don't feel like paying, I got you, my man. I got you covered. Go down below this video and find two links. Free evaluation for talent visa, free evaluation for EB2 and IW, national interest waiver. Both of them, because if you, if you listen to this point of the video, that means there is something going on with you, all right? There is something behind you. There is some technology, some advancement. So do both of them. I'll take a look at them within 48 hours and I will get back to you with the free analysis of your case. If you have potential or if you don't, and if you do, I will invite you to the complex immigration planning and will build up a written strategy for your case. Do it right now. Smash the like button if you like my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment, ask questions, follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Stanislav Shamayev, a lawyer of the future. Your future begins here. Good luck.